Welcome to this video. This here is Harmony OS 4 running on a Huawei B50 Pro phone and this here is Samsung One UI 6 Beta 2 running on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now I have been getting a lot of requests to compare Harmony OS 4 to One UI in terms of animations because there is this wider belief that Harmony OS is really nailing down the animations. And that's a bit tricky guys, why? It's not so easy to get Harmony OS and if you want to check how this works uh, on a P50 Pro global device, then make sure to watch my friend Ross from System Hacks video. I'll put a link down below. This here is a converted unit, so you either have to buy a Chinese Huawei phone, right? Or if you're lucky, you're able to convert your global version that works on P50 Pro. So Harmony OS is not so widespread right now and I don't really know a lot of people using it but the ones that have been using it are claiming that the animations really are on another level. So one more time big shout out to my friend Ross from System Hacks for lending me his Huawei P50 Pro and also converted branded to Harmony OS guys. I'm now going to do this video and hopefully be able to answer this question is really Harmony OS animation better than what we have here in the Samsung One UI 6 Beta 2. And of course, guys, we're gonna start first with the always on display. So this is the always on display on the Harmony OS 4 and on the One UI 6 Beta 2. Okay, double tapping it will just give us this. Double tapping here will bring us to the lock screen, okay? Now, we don't have here a double tap to kill the phone, so I have to do it manually. All right, one more time, you can see the beautiful animation. Here, one more time, I'm gonna do this with the power button so you can explore the transition. And without any further ado, guys, I'm going to unlock now both phones, boom, and go directly to the home screen. I'm now back on the always on display and I'm going to now enter both phones, boom. This is here the animation. I'm gonna do this several times here on uh, the Harmony OS 4. I do believe that you need to see this with your own eyes. It's just so beautiful. Maybe something very comparable is the super wallpapers we know from Xiaomi MIUI, right? These beautiful animated themes come also in orange and poetic romance, and there is also this blue moonstone. I'm just going to apply it, guys, so that you know there are also other options. Now I'm gonna kill it, all right? See this very beautiful animation, always on display, and one more time, boom, entering inside the phone. I'm gonna do this several times in a beautiful 4K 60 FPS so that you are able to experience the animations. And this is what happens here on the One UI 6 Beta 2. Okay, one more time. Here, this is the OS on display, straight ahead to the lock screen. Now, one more time. This here is the OS on display, and I'm just going to touch, boom, entering the phone with this very beautiful animation in it. Now, guys, in order for me to be as honest as I can, what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart both phones, okay? So I'm gonna hit the restart button, make sure that both phones are restarted to just try to give them something like an even start. All right, restarting the phones, and then I'm gonna start from scratch, showing you how to navigate to the home screen. Also, showing you the quick settings, the notifications. I'm gonna show you here all the other options, things like opening and closing folders, opening and closing, different applications as well, of course, the camera, right? And then hopefully you will be able to answer the questions for yourself. Are really the Harmony OS 4 animations that good? Because we see a lot of people touching even the latest Huawei P60 Pro and the latest uh, Mate 60 Pro saying that the Harmony OS is really killing it. Both phones are starting. What I'm going to do straight away, guys, I'm gonna go inside the recent menu and try to kill everything. So killing it, boom. By the way, see, very beautiful animation. Killing it also here, closing all. Now going back, no recent applications, no recently used apps. Also, you should know that both phones are running the highest resolution available and of course also 120 Hertz. First thing we're gonna do is show them like this. This here is the control panel and in the One UI 6 and better 2, we have the option for a quick access. Just like this, we'll get you directly the control panel because you know the standard thing on the One UI is first you're gonna get just these quick tiles and then you're gonna get your notifications. One more time, okay? See, this is really how it works on the Harmony OS 4, all right? We get a notice here that's a better software, okay? See here, and now one more time, 
pay attention to the animations, the blur applied, and what is very important, guys, answer your question to yourself. Is this good enough for you? Are you able to identify some stutter or it is acceptable? And now, guys, as I'm here, I'm going to expand it a bit. So I can do this like this. And this here is the control panel from the Harmony OS and the new updated control panel on the One UI 6, okay? Here, we don't have any fancy animation. We can just go left and right. We can navigate and play with the screen brightness. And here, this is what we get. Okay, I'm gonna do it first slower so that you can anticipate what is going on and then a bit quicker. All right, so slower. You can just see the animated icons. And you can, of course, also do this a bit quicker. Now here, I can do this as well, right? This is how they look like. Now, if we do this the same swipe, but here on the left, we're gonna get with the notifications, all right? And see, also how well that's animated, guys. I can keep doing this, really. It's just so nice to see that one. One more time and one more time, okay? And now, guys, I'm gonna do the same here. Now, I have here a lot more notifications. Of course, that's my primary phone, so notifications. This is how you scroll down a bit. One swipe to the left will get me this here. I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks really like a search widgets. And of course you get also different icons here. That's standard. I have Google, right? You can go back like this directly on my main home screen here. One more time. And yep, yeah, I am now back on the home screen. So gonna show you a bit more of the navigation. If I go to the right, right, we have this type of animation. By the way, you can changes, so there are really a lot of transitions. So we have this one that is called the perspective. We have the squeeze, we have the box one, which is actually quite nice. So let me show you that one. And it really works nice. I mean, it's really smooth, okay? So I'm gonna stay, of course, with uh, the default transition so that uh, we can kind of equalize what we see on both fonts. Um, you know how it goes. I have also here the up drawer on my One UI 6. We have the option here as well. When we go inside the settings and we go to home screen and style, guys, there is option also to go with the up drawer. So I'm gonna show this, right? I'm not using it right now because I wanna focus more on the animations, but it's pretty much the same, right? The only difference is that it looks more like the Poco Launcher. Just go down and here in the up drawer, we have to navigate uh, to the right, but you know that with one year you can change it. So just pay attention on to the animations, all right? Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this slow so we can just see what happens one more time. See how gradually the blur is applied on both phones. Now I'm gonna start with the folder opening and I'm gonna use the very same applications to be able to show you something that is um, common, relatable, and you can just judge for yourself which one is better. So opening the social folder, this is how it looks like. We have a very nice drawing here. I can see one more time, boom. Then you're gonna get here all the notifications directly. Here, it's a bit quicker, uh, but I would say not so animated. Now, I'm going to also start to open some of the applications. I decided to not only open applications from folders, but also open applications directly from the home screen because this might also make some difference. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the folder and open Telegram. All right, and uh, just do like this, okay? So I'm just going to first do it on the Harmony. It all kind of feels a little bit slower compared to uh, the Galaxy. Honestly, I like speed more. This feels a bit more to uh, what we have on, on an iPhone, on an iOS. And you kind of know because when we change the animation duration scale from the developer settings on the One UI, from the developer's options, guys, we kind of get the same eh, in terms of how slow it is and how fluid. Now, I'm going to go inside, open, go outside. Outside, inside, open, all right. Just crazy smooth. And now I'm gonna do the same here, all right. Here maybe smoothness is not so nice, I would say, but a speed is better, so one might like solution like this more. I think it's just up to your taste. Um, in reality, I would love to have uh, the speed response from uh, the S23 Ultra from One UI, but also combine somehow with the smoothness here so that we don't have the starters. Now, by the way, know that this is an older phone. It's the P50 Pro, guys. So it's running Harmony OS 4, the latest one, right? But there is a newer one, the P60 Pro, and even the Mate 60 Pro, which will probably be even more smooth than what we see here. But nevertheless, again, thanks to my friend Ross from System Hacks, this was what I was able to get to show you guys 
in this video. Now let's go and open Facebook. All right. So this is going to scroll down a bit. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I exit it. So I want to kill it, by the way. So let's just go back in Facebook and let's just go back to the recent menu. I'm going to go to the recent menu here as well and show you. So this is the killing animation. All right. Kind of different a bit. One more time. I'm going to go and open Facebook. Okay. And I'll just see the scroll down and the speed again. This is a bit slower than this, right? And thus it feels a bit more fluid. And I know its speed is not um, just the only reason for that. So it really feels very smooth. So I'm going to exit now and show you one more time. Okay, see? Pay attention to what happens on the background, guys. The moment I open the folder, open the application, just go outside, you can just see how the clocks come, pops up in this real, very, very nice, almost kind of real time view. So one more time, outside, boom, the clock is there outside boom and the clock is here now let me open spotify this is going to be an application directly here from the main screen the home screen so no folder or one more time spotify all right it's okay we can scroll like this exit exit okay so spotify just going to try to open several times all right sometimes this phone i mean the animation is so responsive guys that i have to do this with my both fingers let's try to do it here as well okay so again, guys, have in mind, this is still better software on the One UI, so it's One UI 6 Beta 2. I think Harmony OS 4 is also kind of better. So yes, it's, it's a comparable. So one more time, see what happens on the background and see the same here, guys. Somehow the background is not moving here in One UI 6. It wasn't like that in One UI 5X. Now, guys, without any further ado, I want to show you the volume rocker. So when you open it here, right, you can just see it's very, very responsive. And the moment I choose to manipulate it, it really becomes this thick. But this is pretty much what you can do. Here on the Galaxy, right up in here, we'll just fix the volume. And you can just tap here and control all your other media volume. On the Huawei, it's again a bit more like what we've seen on the iOS. And even if we press here, we're going to get down directly to the settings. So it's, uh, yeah, not really what we have on the one UI. Now, with that said, guys, uh, let me also try to show you what happens when we open the camera. So, camera, all right, hi there. So I'm gonna go to the very same modes. Uh, now let's just see, okay, the animation is a bit different when we open uh, the viewfinder. All right, so this is what we get on both phones. Okay, and now exit the camera. So now open the camera, exit the camera. Okay, open, exit. All right, now it's still the same here. Okay. I don't know if the animations in the Harmony OS are non-linear, although I think it almost feels like this, guys, because see, I can already like trigger a home screen and the recent menu by opening this. And on the Samsung, it doesn't seem like this. They have something similar as a concept in uh, the One UI 5.1.1, only released right now for the Flip 5 and the Fold 5. Uh, but I guess here this is almost on par you know, with iOS. I can also show you some widget animations. So this here is going to be the weather. All right, standard. Okay, now going outside, weather. All right, outside. So quick on the Samsung, like almost no animation at all. Just pay attention. Boom. Okay, here it is. Scrolling through all of this. And now, guys, something interesting. Let me show you first on the One UI 6 Beta 2. I can open Telegram, I can go inside the recent menu, I can hold it and decide to either put it there, right, and open it in a split screen with, let's say, the gallery, right, or I can decide to just do the same, but then open the Telegram application just as a pop-up window, all right? And then, of course, you kind of know, like, I was really very fond when Samsung brought this. We have something like this here as well. So let me just show you how this works. I'm gonna go inside the recent menu. I can either click here on an icon, right? And I'm gonna get the same. All right, so let's just check the fluidity. All right, this is here the Harmony OS. And this here is the uh, One UI. But we have other options here as well. If I hold it like this, I can decide to open this as a pop-up window, right? So now, uh, guys, I can go here, right, and drag it to a full screen, or I can decide to also open this in a split view. And this time, guys, I'm going to choose Twitter. I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to go in uh, the recent menu. I'm going to hold it, right? I'm going to drag it here. And I will now decide to open um, the X application so that we are able to compare. So X, now we're going to have Telegram here. 
and X down below, all right? So you can just see the scrolling speed, okay, in both phones. And we pretty much have the very same equalized options. We have three dots here. When we press the three dots, we can save the combo. So now I'm gonna have a combination to read like this, and we can just do a flip. And this is, guys, the flip animation. One more time, so that you are able to compare it. Okay, it kind of looks alike. And if you wanna go and go to a full mode, you can just do like this, and this is gonna be your animation, all right? So if you wanna go like this, guys, you can open this in a pop-up mode, and we can do the same here. Just put it, put it there, and we're gonna have it as a pop-up mode. Now we can also minimize this, and we can do the same, guys. If I don't like this, I can put it there, boom, it's going to be minimized. Now I can open Facebook, I can open Facebook as well, do some browsing, right? Decide I wanna get another pop-up view, right? like this, so I don't need Facebook anymore. I can either do it from the recent menu and pop it up, or, right, you kind of know, I can do this directly from the applications if I do like this. It's gonna be pretty much the same result. And now we have here X running in a pop-up, and of course I can minimize this as well and just end up with having two open applications like this. I can do the same here. Now, if I don't need this, guys, I can just drag it and put it there, and then boom, we're gonna have the same Facebook and Twitter. Although I like this view because, see here, guys, it's, it's a bit different because you have like a short preview. Popping out animation, boom, like this. All right, going to the full screen. Let me just go to the full screen, boom, like this. Here, it's the same. All right, full screen. Up oh, one more time, full screen. Okay, and now, yeah, just going outside. So it seems that we pretty much have the very same functionalities, right, in the Huawei, but the animations here are just a tiny bit different. And guys, let me know down below in the comments. Do you have any animation that is a favorite one? Do you think that the Harmony OS is really better, more consistent, more fluid? Or you think is on par, like almost the same with what you've seen on the One Six Better 2? Please put your comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. VST over and bye.